Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you guys may have noticed, we have surpassed 500,000 subscribers in the last couple of days. We are so excited and so thankful for each and every one of you for your crazy amount of support and love. And to celebrate, I'm bringing you guys a bunch of different super easy, fun hairstyles that are just perfect for spring and summer because they're gonna be dealing with headbands, bandanas, and scarves, or whatever else you like to call them. So the first one is going to be a really simple laid back style that I just love to wear, especially in the summertime with a really cute bandana. But first thing, I'm gonna add a little bit of texture spray to my hair, and that's a quick tip. If you're using bandanas and you feel like they really fall off really fast, add a little bit of texture spray or some dry shampoo. You want a little bit of grit and texture in your hair strands. So I'll be using the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, one of my favorites. So the bandana or headband of choice is from the brand American Eagle. And you guys, they always have a lot of cute ones. This one's really great because it has elastic right towards the bottom of the headband. So it will stay really great on, your, on the back of your head. And it has little ties so you can make it extra tight around your head. So it's not gonna move anywhere. All right, so for the low messy bun, I'll just be using a clear elastic and some bobby pins to kind of just mess it up. So I'm just gonna grab majority of the hair. If your hair is short, this is okay. I actually like it when some of the pieces are just hanging down underneath the headband. So I'm just gonna grab majority of the hair that I can, but I'm gonna leave a lot of this hair out, like the front hairs. But majority of it is gonna go towards the back. All right, and let's just create a messy bun. Next, I'm gonna take the headband, making sure the elastic is going underneath the bun. And then if you want, if you do have this headband, you can just leave it like this, tie it up underneath, or what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this towards the top, give it one quick little tie to give it a little bit more extra support. And then whatever is left over, I'm just gonna tuck it right in the front underneath the headband. All right, so it's pretty much done. I'm gonna go back in and just messy it up, give it a little bit more volume on this little top portion. And then some hairs, because I do have layers, some of them will stick out. So I'm just take some of the hairs and just kind of pin them. So just take my mini bobby pins, my favorite brand, Meta Grip, and I get them from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. And there we have it, super quick and simple. Literally takes like a couple of minutes, not even to do. One of my favorite ways to wear in the summertime. Next one is for those that love a good, high, messy bun, but we're gonna wrap the messy bun with a really pretty, really pretty scarf. I found this one in Forever 21. Just look how cute this is. I love the color. It's very bright red orange in your face. The florals are perfect, and this just screams spring and summer to me. All right, so do your thing and pick up all of your hair where you want your high, messy bun to be. So then with my ponytail where I want it to sit, I'm gonna take a clear elastic and just tie up first just the regular ponytail. And you guys always ask which clear elastics I use. I get them from Amazon. They're really amazing. I'll have them linked down below. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the hair and I'm just gonna wrap it around the actual ponytail. And then take another clear elastic and then just plop it right on top just to kind of secure what I just wrapped. All right, so we see all these flyaways happening. What we're gonna do is take a teasing comb, whichever one you have, some hair spray, and I'm just gonna spray it right on the brush. You can also use a toothbrush for this. And then just very gently brush it towards the bun. And I'm not really being worried that it's so messy right here because we are gonna cover it with a scarf. All right, so if you have any little short hairs on the back, you can either leave them down if you prefer or pick them up and secure them with a bobby pin like I did. So there's many ways of how to roll your scarf, but this is just how I do it. This is a big square scarf. I just split it right in half into a triangle and then the pointy ends, I bring them together with the straight ends and then I just roll it to as how thin I want the scarf to be. And then start wrapping it around my bun until I have two little ends and I'm just gonna take it either to one side or towards the back and then just tie it off, secure it, make sure it's not going anywhere. And then if you don't like the ends hanging off like I do, you can just tuck them right underneath the scarf and the bun just to kind of secure and hide it. And this completes the second look same thing it takes literally minutes to complete it is ridiculously fast and easy but it gives a little bit more of a, like an elegance touch with the silk scarf if you're into this kind of look this one's for you 
This next one is for those that love a good half updo with a headband or a scarf. This one's super cute, it's from American Eagle. And I just love the gray and white pattern with a little bow in the front. And of course it has elastic towards the bottom. So this one will also help to keep it right on your head so it wouldn't move around. Love these ones. So what I'm gonna do is divide my hair into two sections for the half updo, and then just place my headband right on top where I want it to sit and then we're gonna continue doing the half updo. All right, so once we have the two sections, you can actually leave it like this. I actually love this style. But for the half updo, if you wanna do that, I'm just gonna take the sections from the side, one and two, not all of the hair, but the two sections, one and two, and I'm just gonna take them and kind of underlap them and then just secure them with a bobby pin just to kind of make it look like an updo. And this one literally takes 30 seconds to do. I just love it. It's very simple, but yet it gives a little bit of a twist. And I love the headband, especially with the elastic part at the bottom. It will not move anywhere. This next one is for those that want their hair out of their face, but it's still showing with a little bit of a headband. I'm gonna use the first one that we did. And it's very cute, but very simple and fast to do. And what I'm gonna use instead of bobby pins, I'm going to use these little cork screw pins, which I love. I tried these out, first impression, several months back, and I have never looked back. They're incredible. I'm gonna put the headband on first. I'm gonna take my hair and gather it all together into one big section, then kind of give it a twist, and then bring it towards the top. Take one of the cork screw pins, secure it at the top, and then take another one and secure it at the bottom. And then if I feel like it needs a little bit more hold, I'll just take another one and secure it in the middle. So because it has an elastic little ruched bottom, I wanna hide it with the tails that I have. So I'm just gonna wrap it underneath once and then just bring it towards the top. And then I'm just gonna tie it off once. You can leave it like that, like a cute little bow, or you can just tuck it underneath like I am. And there we have it, a French twist updo. Like I said, get creative, do whatever you want, but I just love this, it's super simple, it's very quick, but yeah, it's really cute and I can wear it in the summertime when it gets really hot, get the hair all up away from my face. All right, so this last one is going to be kind of like a retro hairstyle, and I'm gonna do a little bit on the deeper end. You can do whatever you want. All right, and then the rest of the hair, I'm gonna do it in a very low ponytail because it's all gonna get covered. So for the scarf, I'm doing this one, the same one from Fiber 21, and I'm gonna fold it into a triangle like this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure the little pointy end is going to be on the very top right here, and then the straight end is going to start from the bottom. Just like that, I'm gonna pick it up. If you need, you can just use your little bobby pins to help to hold down while you're tying it. All right, so once the side is secure with the bobby pins, I moved it over just a little bit to one side to make sure you have a bow. Now let's make a bow. Whichever way you guys make bows, go ahead and make your bow. So once I have the bow, I'm gonna have these little ends left over, the little pointy ends. Can't see you guys. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them a little twist and then literally just shove them right underneath the bow basically to one side just kind of smooth things down a little bit <laughs> and now i'm going to clean up the bow to make sure it's nice and even on each side and there we have it for this one i'm going to keep the bobby pins in i added a second one to one of the sides and i took out on this side because it's nice and secure for me but because i did add the texture spray it kind of gave a little bit of a grit and texture to my hair so this silky scarf won't be slipping and sliding all over the place but the bobby pins do help. And there we have it. I love this retro pinup hairstyle. And this concludes this video. Hopefully there was one just for you and let me know which one that is down below. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.